morning movement break, we have some down on the ground, and then we also have some standing movements that we're going to do. A little bit of stretching in the beginning, and then we'll get into some more movement towards the end. If you have a mat or a soft surface, you're going to want to use that because we will be rolling on our backs and lying on our backs. So just make sure you're on a soft surface for this movement break. Let's go ahead and get started in the supine position. So lie flat on your back. We're going to start with some supine knee pulls, but make it nice and quick. So what that means is we bring our left knee into the chest, pull it, feel that stretch, and then switch. And notice how my leg is hovered above the ground. Keep it hovered. This is how we engage our core, work on that core stability too as well. Pull that belly button nice and tight. A quick pull, nothing too crazy, not holding it for too long. A little active stretch here. Four, three, two, one. We are going to turn this now into a straight leg stretch. So if you want to bring your head and neck up off the ground, you can. Otherwise, you can keep it down. Pull in the back of the hamstring or the back of your calf. Whatever works. Also quick. Keep those legs bent. Our legs straight, not bent. Excuse me. If you need a break, just pull those knees in real quick. And then go back to it because this is working our core. So you might feel that core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to slow it down with the leg cradle. You're going to grab your right ankle and send the bottom of your right shoe off to the left side of the room. Pull that ankle in towards you with your left hand and take your right palm and push your knee away from you. So we're pulling our ankle towards us, but we're pushing our knee away, getting a great stretch of our hip flexors, our quad, you might feel it in the groin too as well, depending where you're more tight. And just hold, keep that push and pull theme going. Nice, subtle breaths. Don't hold your breath. And switch. So now we use our right hand to grab the left ankle and our left palm to push our knee away. Remember the bottom of your foot is off to the right side of the room. Settle your breath if we got our heart rate a little, little high, a little active with those leg pulls and knee pulls. Got our core working right from the start. Three, two, one. Pull both knees into the chest and we're going to do egg rolls. This is rocking to this position, essentially all the way up to the seated position and just kind of giving our spine a nice little massage. If this bothers you for any reason, you're going to stay flat on your back and you're just going to go side to side instead. Nice little back massage for us here. Go as slow or as fast as you want to, but try to get every piece of that spine on the ground. You might even hear a few pops. That's okay. Just those joints releasing some of that pressure, that air from sitting for too long at our desk. If you can get up to those shoulders, it's gonna feel so good. Last one. Perfect. Stay up a little bit for me. We are now gonna go into shin box. What this is, is you kind of push yourself up with your palms, and we're going to basically essentially end up in this position. So my left knee is pointed off to the left side, and my right knee kind of goes pointed a little to the inside of the back of my right knee. So fingertips point towards the toes, raise yourself up and drop and just hold. You can allow yourself to sit down on the ground. You don't have to keep pushing yourself up. The only time you're pushing yourself up with those hands is when we're switching to the other side, like right now. Butt off the ground, back down. Just a nice stretch of those hamstrings, the ligaments around the knee, up and other side. We're going to do two kind of holds each side. So we've got one more to the other side. 
And then we're gonna make it nice and quick from the right to the left, left to the right, head back to the other side. This is our last kind of slow hold. And then just like with those knee pulls and straight leg pulls, we're gonna go as fast as you can from the side to the side. All right, here we go. Side to side, working those arms too, because our butt is up off the ground the entire time. It's only 10 seconds. Last three, two, one. Awesome. Shake those arms out, right over left, left over right. We need our arms here. Our next one is a plank hold with some shoulder taps. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. So if you need to modify, hold down on the knee, perfectly fine. Otherwise up on those toes, right hand touches the left shoulder and vice versa. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We are up in our plank position. Taking your time whenever you're ready, lift that left hand, tap the right shoulder, and set it back down. Imagine you have headlights on your hips. And so when we go to tap, we can't open up. We're not going into a side plank. We want those headlights to stay pointed down to the ground the entire time. So we're trying not to swivel as best as we can. You go at your own pace, shift that body weight from side to side. But try not to shift those hips, right? We've got a nice flat back. Five seconds left, hold that plank. Three, two, one, awesome. Drop to those knees, quick child's pose. Push the ground away, sit back on those heels. And walk those hands to those knees. Allow yourself to come on up. We are now going to do a pivot and reach. So step your feet out a little bit wide. When we reach, we are pivoting our feet to the left and my right hand goes across body and I pull. Pivot, left across body and pull. On that pull, you are automatically pivoting and getting ready for the other side. 30 more seconds here. Really reach and really pull. Act like you're reaching for a rope. You're trying to pull yourself over. Are you reaching for someone's hand and you're trying to pull them into you? So activate those back muscles. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Pivot and reach and pull. Three, two, one, good. Let's add some rotation to a lateral lunge. So we're gonna step out with the left. You are going to drop that right arm, rotate the left up, step it in, off to the other side, and rotate and step in. Whatever side of the body the knee is bent, that's the arm that goes straight up into the air. Really rotate, really work on opening up that chest to the side. One more each side, please. Awesome job. All right, we've got a prep lunge into a hamstring stretch. So right foot forward, left foot back. Keep your hands on that right knee. Just a quick little prep, so nothing too crazy. And then we rock our weight back, bring that right toe up. Prep, bend that back knee and stretch. Should be feeling the back of the right hamstring on fire. As you push down, so we bend, push my hands into my right thigh, press my heel down into the ground, and then relax with that lunge. Here we go, one more, and then we'll switch sides. Prep. Ah, good, all right, let's switch. That prep is just a nice little bend. Not a full lunge. We're not trying to get our knee down to the ground. Shift all that weight. Turn that right foot out to the side, just ever so slightly. Angle it off to the side just a little bit for that hamstring. 
and then turn it so toes back to face to the front with the lunge part. Here we go. Last one. Ah, awesome. All right. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you feel woken up a little bit and you're about ready to get back to work. Have a good day.